Hey everyone, it's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by to check out another video. As you can see there at, uh, on my screen, staring at you and staring at me, is my beloved dog, Smokey. Uh, she was 16 and a half years of age, but uh, we had to put her down uh, yesterday. Uh, it was a very sad day for, uh, for me and for our family. Um, but I wanted to do something in her honor to keep her memory alive. I, I believe in that strongly, and uh, you know, I think that's an important thing to do. Uh, and so um, I figured a good way to do that would be to make a YouTube video and related to reselling by showing you uh, 10 items related to dogs, could be any type of dog, that sells for... A pretty high amount of money like typically you know over a thousand dollars or so uh, some a little bit less and some way more um, so that's going to be coming up in a few moments and I'm going to show you that list and it'll, it'll, it'll go up in price you know I'll start with um, you know an item that's around six hundred dollars and we'll move our way all the way up I don't even want to tell you what the what the top price is it's uh, so crazy but <laughs> you'll see that in a few minutes so uh, before I get into that list, um, I, I just want to tell you a little bit about Smokey, um, you know, how I found her, that type of thing. If you're not interested in that, just, I understand, just just move forward a bit uh, in, in the video and you'll, uh, you know, fast forward and you'll see the, the you know, and you'll see the list of items uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the reselling stuff. But, um, you know, if you've never met a German short-haired pointer, which is the type of dog Smokey was, and Smokey... Despite the name Smokey, Smokey is a girl. Um, you can't really tell there too well, but she did have a pink collar on. We kept that on her so people wouldn't think she was a boy. She had a little complex about that. Um, but we named her Smokey because of her coloring. A um, little gray, a little, little white, a little black in there, you know, just kind of mixed up. Uh, it's kind of smoke color. So, um, But if you never met one, uh, the closest thing I could describe in terms of temperament is like a golden retriever. Um, which are all also awesome dogs. I mean, so many of you watching this probably have had Goldens in your life and in your family. But if you're a dog lover, if you're thinking about getting a dog or thinking about getting another dog, I'd be honored if somebody got a German short-haired pointer um, because of this video. And if you did or if you do, please let me know that in the comment section. I mean, that would just mean the world to me. I, because these dogs are so loyal and you could just tell, you know, I purposely put this picture up because it just shows, you could just tell a lot by, by, by the eyes. Um, you know, people's eyes too, and, you know, and dog's eyes. I mean, if you look in her eyes, you could see how smart she is, or uh, was, and um, just how loyal, and just how nice. Um, you know, she's just incredible. Um, now, they are energetic, especially when they're younger, so you do need to be willing to go out and get them exercise. They're not just going to lay around all day. Um, but, uh, you know, so that's important. But as long as you're willing to do that, uh, they're kid-friendly. I mean, they, Smokey never even went to bite any person, any other animal. And we've had her with other dogs, um, one before her, one after her. Um, she, you know, she, she, she never, ever went to do anything like that. So they are just super peaceful. Um, if the world was made up of people like, uh, you know, people that had personalities uh, like Smokey, uh, we, we would not have any problems in the world, I'll tell you that much. So, um, just uh, before I get into the list, I thought you might get a kick out of how I found her. Uh, although many of you know, I live in New York and I've lived in the Northeast uh, for the majority of my life. Um, I did find myself for a year during an internship uh, living in Oklahoma. Uh, I was working at uh, Oklahoma Health Sciences Center in Oklahoma City. And uh, we lived in a you know pretty rural area, as uh, you know, unless you're living in the heart of Oklahoma City, that's most of what Oklahoma's like. Uh, a lot of farmland and stuff, and lots of places for uh, you know dog litters to be running around, especially pointers. And um, I was walking to the gym one day at the apartment that we lived in, and there was lots of woods and stuff around. And as I'm walking to the gym, this tiny little puppy, just a few weeks old, is is running after me. And I looked at her and looked around, didn't see anybody, and um, figured she just must have got loose from the owner, you know, maybe someone's playing with her outside, that kind of thing. So didn't really think too much of it and went to the gym. 
I go, I do a full workout, like 45 minutes to an hour or so. I come out, she's literally waiting out there for me. And this, this is what I mean about like that loyalty aspect of it. She's waiting out there for me and you know, I, I'm walking back to the um, to the apartment and she's still chasing after me so I decide all right I'll you know I'll pick her up and um, see how she is and picked her up and you know she immediately just starts licking me you know licking my face and stuff and um, I said all right well I'm looking I can't find a collar on her I didn't want to put her down because obviously she's lost because there's no owner that's claiming her uh, or is nearby so, um, you know, there's no way anyone just let her run around outside in the middle of the apartment complex for, for you know, for 45 minutes to an hour. So I take her back to the um, apartment and, you know, knock on the door to surprise Mrs. Primetime. And uh, Mrs. Primetime opens the door and her heart just melts when she sees Smokey. And um, uh, it was just, you know, we, we cleaned her up. She was covered with bugs and stuff and fleas and everything so we put her in the bathtub we gave her a bath rinsed her off i still have the pictures of that they're hilarious maybe i'll show them one day um and then um we called um we called around we called the apartment complex and they they had no report of a dog that was missing we called the aspca and they said they could take her but um there's a 50 percent chance that no one would claim her and know a buyer and that she'd have to be put down then and there uh and we just we were like no way we can't take the chance that's going to happen we had another dog at the time um you know my wife and i were both working and so during the day that other dog was alone so we figured that dog needed a friend and uh we decided to keep Smokey, and uh, so, uh we're very happy we made that decision because uh you know 16 and a half years of awesome uh awesome memories so um you know but uh you know dogs as you as you know they, they usually um don't last uh, as long as 16 and a half to 17 years i mean that's pretty much the the, the you know the top and uh towards the end she just she had just gotten uh you know she was already she already lost her her vision she lost her hearing uh, she she had degenerative joint disease that was severe. She had lost a lot of weight. She couldn't get up much. She was falling a lot. She was getting confused, bumping into things. And the the worst part of it was she was just getting trapped because she couldn't get up. So um, she was just finding herself pinned. And you know if we went out for like you know an hour or so, we'd come back and find her stuck. And uh, it was just you know just getting to be an unbearable situation you know for her. so uh you know it was a sad day but hopefully uh you know try to turn this into a you know a positive in some way and keeping her memory alive and so uh with that being said i'm gonna gonna jump into the video here and we're gonna go over these items so let's start here at uh at this one now this is this is a quilt and this is the only item i'm gonna show you that involves cats because dogs and cats they are a resellable theme that you want to look for and this is what I mean by the things that I'm going to show you in other words you're not literally going to always go out there or maybe ever go out there and find a quilt with dogs and cats in it like this that sell for six hundred and fifteen dollars and all the prices that you see here that I'm going to show you these are all actually completed sale prices it's not what someone's asking they're all actually um, things that were purchased on eBay now um, some selling points for this uh, not only are they uh, is this something that's dog and cat related but you'll notice there's different types of dogs on it that is uh, very very important uh, also you'll see that it's very colorful so bright colors um, multiple types of dogs, multiple types of cats, very, very important to, uh, to reselling value. So uh, this one uh, is not even a name brand item. So sometimes name brand will play a role in this, but this one isn't. Now, if you have a, a skill in quilting or, or, or sewing or anything like that, and you could make any dog cat patterns, you know, maybe you could make something, maybe not exactly this, but you can make something, maybe some something somewhat similar, 
and uh, maybe you know flip it for a hundred dollars or a hundred fifty or two hundred maybe this video will give you some ideas in terms of some things that you could do um, or if not you know again like I said things you could look for but if you see dog cat combo items out there I don't care what they are at least look them up because um, they can uh, resell well depending on what they are so that's uh, number one and uh, let's move up to the second item here so this one is um, a dog a tote bag and it is important for several reasons not just because it's a tote bag the brand is obviously important there uh, being uh, Dooney and Bork or Dooney Bork and and Disney and that's another important theme here is that you see here we've got dogs from multiple different Disney movies we've got the Dalmatian there um, you know we've got Lady and the Tramp uh, so we've got you know we've got all sorts of different dogs um, from the Disney line and so that's really important if you see and you're gonna see another item that I'm going to show you later that is Disney related and it has uh, multiple Disney dogs on it I don't care what it is that you see that has multiple Disney dogs on it from different movies especially if it has all of them on there pick it up I don't even bother checking the comps I mean you could just pretty much guarantee it's gonna be something that's gonna sell well so uh, that's just a little pointer for you here but this bag with all those different qualities that it has to it now it is new uh, did sell for seven hundred dollars so amazing the type of money that some of these dog related uh, items uh, could bring you but uh, you know like I said on the other item I don't expect that you're gonna go out and find this one laying around at a garage sale necessarily but maybe you see something maybe this this video gives you an idea you see something Disney um, multiple dog related uh, item um, you know you pick it up and uh, maybe you could resell it get a good flip on it now one of the themes you're gonna see cut across some of these items that I'm gonna show you not all but some is that name brand is associated with it now uh, I love dogs I'm a huge dog lover and I, I bought dog beds before but as much as I love Smokey and as much as I love my other dog Cassie and I, as much as I love my current dog Daisy, we also call Primetime Puppy, uh, I'm not spending $1,149 on a Versace dog bed. I'll tell you that much. Uh, so, uh, But there are some people out there that will spend that type of money on their dogs and um, you know that's amazing to me I mean it's definitely a cool looking uh, bed now again you're not gonna find this one probably uh, laying around uh, again you know maybe you get lucky somewhere and find one at some ritzy estate sale but the point is is you know if you see a dog bed at least check the tag um, you never know maybe it's not Versace but maybe it's some other name brand and doesn't flip for 1500 but maybe it's something that flips for a couple hundred dollars you never know now if it's your average flat bed that you get at PetSmart that's not going to sell for a lot of money obviously but uh, you know if you get something uh, something that has like a little unique flair to it and it's dog bed related look it up never know it's not going to be uh, expensive to ship uh, might be a little bulky but uh, in terms of the weight uh, you should be okay on it so uh, that's number three let's move on to number four now this is something you could realistically run into because I you know as you know from watching my videos I do a lot with books and I run across old books um, from the 1930s all the time it's not an uncommon thing for me to run into now that being said I've never run across this um, this series before but you'll notice um, their American Kennel Club book so you'll see the name AKC listed a lot you want to look that term up once in a while AKC for American Kennel Club these are stud books so they're books that um, you know show the different types of, uh, of, of dog uh, studs and um, these books they're not even complete it's not even a complete set I mean you could see here it starts at 46 then you got 47 48 49 50 2 for 50 then it jumps up to 54 as this other one over here so it's not even complete doesn't have all of them it's seven of them sold for fifteen hundred dollars I mean that's amazing that's absolutely amazing now think about that for a second how many of you if you saw that if you saw those books just sitting there on a dusty bookshelf even at a rummage sale or an estate sale how many of you would look those up and check comps on it probably not a lot of you I mean some would but probably not a lot so 
you know I want this in your head so that if you see anything like this definitely pick it up in fact if you ever get something that's dog related that you looked up because you saw this video let me know that in the comment section I'd love to know that this video uh, helped you make some money so uh, let's go on to number five now we're hitting up name brand again you're not going to actually see a dog on this item and for all of my fashion conscious um, <laughs> subscribers you instantly know from looking at this bag from seeing the design that it's uh, Louis Vuitton um, if you're um, you know a guy or someone who's just not uh, fashion conscious at all and you don't know too much about the brand I mean just take a good look at this because this is a design they commonly use um, in fact you could see there the little emblem if you look close that's the LV it stands for Louis Vuitton I mean you could look inside and look on the tags and stuff like that and figure it out but um, you know it's just a quick way to easily figure it out but it's a um, it's a dog uh, pet carrier bag now the type of dog that's going to fit in this is obviously a small dog something like a Shih Tzu um, or you know or, or a terrier or a, um, a you know Yorkie something like that and some of those dogs if you go pure breed with them um, you can definitely spend easily over a thousand dollars on one of them so people who buy those types of dogs are typically people who do have you know some disposable income that they might spend on something like a thousand dollar plus uh, you know pet carrier bag now again you're not gonna find this laying around for 50 cents at a garage sale maybe you get lucky run into it at a ritzy estate sale or something like that or an auction maybe and this one's pre-owned too it's not brand new and still sold for eighteen hundred um, you know but you know look at other pet carriers that you run into uh, people are always looking for them if you could find one in good shape something that's unique about the design or something that you know really stands out about the brand look it up these are light easy to ship and you never know maybe you run into a gem run into a treasure and um, this would really be a prime time treasure uh, if you found something like this and uh, make a lot of money on it so uh, all the rest of these items you're gonna see are you know over a thousand dollars so uh, let's move on to the next one um, now this is a figurine dog figurine this kind of looks like my first dog Cassie somewhat uh, who was a mutt but um, you know I put this up here um, not again that you're gonna find this exact item you know it's a rare piece but if you come across dog figurines I mean that's my general point here this is really like the upper end pretty much for dog figurines you know somewhere around 1800 um, but d definitely look it up I mean look up the um, you know look up the artist name uh, see if you could identify it you know and just so you know if you're having any trouble identifying the artist or the you know the maker um, you know definitely look on the bottom like you could see here for this item here we could look on the bottom of the item and we could see the maker right there so we could look it up this is a German piece so you just want to look those keywords up and you could figure it out but for some reason if you couldn't find marks on it or anything like that like maker marks take a picture of it in the eBay app and then you could search by photo and you could hopefully find a match there it doesn't always work perfect but sometimes it does so keep an eye out there for dog figurines sometimes they will sell really really well depending on who made it and uh, and where it was made so uh, that's that one we got four more to go uh, now this one um, believe it or not is a t-shirt yes a t-shirt that's sold for almost two thousand dollars now most of it is because of uh, uh, who made it there you could see the artist you know Gavenchi but um, this is uh, Rot Rottweiler you know really really jumps out at you I mean it's very vicious you know it's got those sharp teeth you know it looks like it's painted onto there I mean it's an amazing amazing piece but uh, you know there was someone out there willing to spend two grand for this shirt now again uh, oh look at this we got an offer that came in oh should I go to the offer no on this video I'm not I'm gonna keep it to, normally I would but I am going to keep it to keep this whole thing dog related in honor of Smokey so I'm not gonna veer off onto that but I'll check it out when this video is over that's for sure anyway um, so if you find dog related shirts out there uh, pick them up I've I you know sold a bunch of them you know maybe you only sell them for a 1999 you pick it up for a buck but you know, dog shirts do sell lots and in fact one of the types of shirts you want to look out there uh, for are dog mom shirts there's a lot of people a lot of uh, you know women who probably like to walk around saying that they're dog you know they're dog moms and there's lots of jokey kind of shirts related to that so look those up find them for a buck typically could flip them for a good amount so uh, make some nice little profit on it so check out the dog shirts uh, that's another item 
So we're going to go into our uh, last three here. And this is coming back to what I was talking about uh, earlier, which is the dog uh, pin. And this is a Disney pin. Now, if you know about Disney and the pins, uh, some people spend tons of money on these rare pins that are difficult to find. And this is one of the rarest types of Disney pins that you could find. And it actually is one you know, that has uh, you know, most of the Disney dogs all together on one pin. Uh, and that's what makes it so rare. They did not make many of them. Difficult to find. Um, sold for $2,500 for one pin. Um, now, if you know about Disney pins, this probably doesn't surprise you too much. But if you didn't know about it, you know, um, not only should you look up um, uh, any kind of, you know, dog-related, uh, Disney dog-related pin. But, um, you know, if you come across Disney pins, definitely check them out if you're out there. That's something you will run into just in general, Disney pins. Check them out. Some of them aren't worth a lot, but there are some that are rare that are really worth a small fortune. So, uh Hopefully that tip is helpful for you too. But uh, this just goes to show you what I'm talking about. You know, this item here, very similar to the, um, you know, the, the handbag uh, that I showed you earlier. Uh, anything with all those Disney dogs on them, that's a really, really good flip for you. All right, next two. Now this is something I, I actually, interestingly enough, uh, I was at a, an indoor garage sale today and I came across a book with this dog on it. It's called Blue Dog. And there's lots of art related to Blue Dog. There's there's a bunch of it actually on eBay. Now most of it sells for about a grand. And you can see the artist uh, uh, listed there, George Rodriguez, I believe that's how you pronounce it. But um, there's lots of art with this dog on it. You can see there it's signed on the bottom. If you ever see anything like this with this Blue Dog, with, and it always has these big wide staring eyes, uh, definitely look into it. Definitely look into picking it up. And then this sold for over four grand. Again, most of the pieces will sell for about a thousand. But you know, if it's something out there you could pick up for like you know fifty bucks, hundred bucks, pick it up because uh, you know it could be something that really turns into a great flip. I mean, you could see here this sold after thirty nine bids for over four thousand dollars. So uh, um, and not just blue dog. I mean, really, you know, look, if you come across a dog art piece, check it out. I mean, you never know. Um, what you might run into uh, in terms of uh, comps when uh, when you run into dog art related pieces. Okay, now the last piece I'm going to show you, I was hesitant to put it up, but you know the thing is, the reason why I'm going to show you this is because as I was you know doing some research on this for the video, you would not believe how many of these I come uh, come across that are up there for sale on eBay. Now, not literally this exact one. This is a dog-related coin. It's silver, um, and it's an Australian one that's sold for almost, almost nine thousand dollars, eighty-six hundred dollars. In fact, whoever had this sold two of them. Now, if you're into coin collecting, this might be something you're particularly interested in. But a lot of them that I found out there um, that were being sold weren't so much the silver ones. There's a lot of gold ones out there, but they all have dogs on them. Uh, in fact, if I move back a little bit right here, uh, you might be able, I might be able to capture it still. Uh, I'm not sure if I will or not. The computer's probably acting a little slow. But um, just do a search for dog coins on eBay and you'll see uh, what some of them go for if you sort them from highest to lowest. So there's a lot of them that will sell for like two grand, a grand. Uh, obviously, these are not things you're going to find at estate sales or something like that. You may be lucky and find some of it in auctions or something like that. Um, you're not going to find them at garage sales or anything. But, um, you know, if you know something about coin collecting and you maybe you could, you know, reach out to, uh, you know, someone who is a, a coin collector. You ever come across some of these uh, dog-related coins? Uh, look into it because um, there's a lot of money uh, and, and you know involved in uh, involved in these dog coins so you know uh, you know runs the gamut here you see all different types of items that I showed you today I showed you coins I showed you art I showed you pins I showed you Disney items shirts figurines you know handbags books um, you know uh, dog beds uh, you know again handbags Disney items quilts um, really just runs the gamut um, and that's just 
you know, coming back to Smokey and coming back to dogs and coming back to man's best friend. I mean, that's just how, uh, you know, dogs have just pervaded our life. They're just in every aspect of it. They uh, they pretty much always have been uh, ever since man, you know, met dog. And uh, they'll uh, it'll be like that until the uh, until the end of time. I mean, they're always going to be by our side. And, uh, um, you know, again, I, I, just to wrap it up, uh, I, I hope that if you don't have a dog and you're really thinking of one and you came across this video, please consider getting a, a German short-haired pointer. Uh, you'll love it. Um, if you ever got one and named it Smokey, that would really crack me up. And so uh, just let me know. Keep in touch. Uh, I don't plan on taking this video down, so uh, hopefully it, it generates a lot of German short-haired pointer sales and a lot of Smokey namings. And, uh, um you know, you will be very, very happy, uh, you know, with the German short haired pointer. So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to end off this video. Uh, I do want to thank though, every single person, um, who expressed, uh, sympathy and, and thoughts, uh, for me. I was overwhelmed by the, uh, amazing support that, uh, people in my Facebook group, the Facebook reselling resource center, um, uh, put out there. I mean, it meant the world to me. I'm just so happy to have such a great group of people around me. So thank all of you if you, um, you know, are in the group and um, you know you've been uh, um, communicating with me. I really appreciate it, and um, you know, just want to thank you. Um, you know, just here on the video. I know I wrote it out on the in the Facebook group, but if you want to join the Facebook group for all sorts of uh, Facebook reselling tips, um, we're almost at 3,500 people in that group. And it's just a great group, as I just described. So please come by. Very, very supportive. Um, you're not going to catch any hate or shade in that group. Um, it's just really a great group. So come check it out. Follow me at the Primetime uh, Treasure um, um, Instagram account. That's at prime underscore time underscore treasure. No S at the end. I will have a haul video up for you tomorrow. It's an awesome estate sale I'm going to go to. I'm real excited about it. And uh, I hit up two sales today. So I'm going to integrate everything and just have a big weekend uh, estate sale haul video. I haven't done one of those in a while. So I wanted to get out there this morning, just kind of get back in a swing of things. So I uh, hope all of you enjoyed the video. And um, thanks a lot for, uh, for sticking with me this far if you did. All right. Take care, everyone. I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.